Okay, so now let's do the uh, statement of cash flows. So it is a part of the instruction. It's actually step B. All right. So you gotta create a statement of cash flows from a ground zero. So basically everything started new uh, on a new spreadsheet. And do not enter any numbers directly. Uh, everything should be linked to the source on previous uh, worksheets. The previous worksheets would be the balance sheet and income statement. Okay, so now let's go. So I want you to hit this uh, add new sheet button. All right, and you will see a new sheet is being created. You can move along um, however you like it. Okay, so uh, I want to name this sheet. Right click, rename it as a statement of cash flows all right and uh, I'm going to edit on this uh, spreadsheet okay so what is the statement of cash flows well you should know that uh, you will have an overall net change of a cash all right and this comes from three types of activities operating financing and uh, investing okay well how do you get all these numbers well the numbers will come from the change of the items on the balance sheet okay so what well, you will see the um, the change of a uh, cash and equivalents from a 240 to a 27 so that's basically a deduction of a 213 all right so uh, your net change would be a negative 213 well this this has to be calculated and then this negative 213 will come from the activities in operating financing and investing all add up together okay so that's basically the uh, brief out outlook of your statement of cash flows to start from a scratch we need to analyze the item individually and uh, you will need to start from the first item after the cash and equivalents the first item is accounts receivable all right and on the statement of cash flows you're gonna create a term called a change all right here is something you can follow of uh, accounts receivable all right and uh, you know this is an asset so um, I'm going to uh, um, make sure this is uh, um, applied correctly I'm going to use uh, the uh, new year minus the old year so I need to use uh, switch back to the balance sheet starting with the equal sign the new year minus the old year all right well the thing is uh, this assets increase but uh, on the uh, statement cash flows it should be negative okay when assets increase your cash actually got reduced so let me uh, uh, emphasize here assets increase then cash decrease okay if it's a liability or equity increase then cash increases as well Okay, so that's our rule number one. So for this thing, I'm going to put a negative sign in front of it, in front of the whole formula. So if the accounts receivable increase by 180, so on the stimulant cash flows, it should be recorded as negative 180. Okay, so that's fair. Or I can simply put equal instead of using a new minus old, I use old minus new. All right, so I'm going to use. Uh, um, I'm going to use uh, the uh, data of the old year minus the data in the new year. Okay, does that make sense? So what I did was uh, previously I used the negative, the new minus old. Okay, and now basically uh, I use uh, oops. now I switch it to uh, old minus new. So that's what I did right here. Okay. And then I'm going to move to a change for the next one, okay. which is uh, um, inventories. So uh, again, I'm going to use old minus new. So right here, um, old year of 2017 minus new year of 2018. So my inventory, actually, uh, this should be an inventory. reduced by uh, reduce my cash flow by 600 although inventory increase uh, by 600 okay so well 
probably you get tired for switching uh, from spreadsheet back and forth, all right? So this is something I can uh, let you do. So you can uh, build the balance sheet on this side and the same cash flows on this side at the same time. So how can I do that? So I want you to hit this uh, view button, all right? And I want you guys to uh, hit this uh, new window, okay? Hit this new window. And then you will have uh, two windows uh, for the same file. So if you edit on any of these windows, then uh, the change will apply to the file, okay? And then you will hit view again, arrange all. And then I want you to hit this uh, vertical and then hit okay. All right, now we're talking, right? You will see the uh, balance sheet is uh, presented on the left-hand side, okay? And then the um, on the right-hand side, I want to show the stimulus cash flow, okay? Stimulus cash flow is right here. I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit because I don't want it to uh, uh, block my face here, okay? All right. Now we can just uh, uh, keep finishing this uh, stimulus cash flows. We have this uh, uh, account receivable that is finished and the inventory that's finished. Um, do we need to uh, find a term called a change of uh, total current assets? Well, you know, the total current assets basically include the cash account receivable and inventories, especially these two items were already included in total assets. So if we just uh, do it one more time, it's like a double counting the same item over again. So we don't want that reputation. So I'm not gonna do this a change of a total current assets. Then I'm going to move down to plant equipment and that's a solid assets I wanna count in. So uh, I'm going to do a change of a plant and equipment. All right, once again, I'm going to use uh, old minus new and you know why, old, minus new okay old minus new so uh, let me just uh, move my space down here a little bit and then i have a uh, accumulate depreciation so i can do a change of a uh, accumulative uh, accumulated depreciation well the thing is uh accumulated depreciation is an inactive asset and this is a little tricky so if it is assets, if it is positive assets, like a plan or inventory, that increase would cause cash to decrease. If it is for accumulated depreciation with a negative assets, you can deduct from the plan equipment. You see, you're gonna deduct 570 from this uh, 3570, all right? That's a negative assets. So when that increase, you're gonna have uh, um, um, the cash increase or cash saved. So instead of using old minus new, I'm going to use uh, new, the year of 2018 minus the old. Okay, so that's positive 300. All right, um, so after counting for accumulated depreciation, do I need this net fixed assets? The answer is no, because this net fixed assets combines both the uh, plant equipment and depreciation, and I don't wanna count it again, but that's gonna make me double count plant equipment and depreciation. Certainly, I don't wanna double count uh, total assets in there. All right, now let me just move all the way down. A change of what's the next one? Well, the next one should be accounts payable. Accounts payable. Okay, so I'm going to mark account payable and then I'm going to do change of accruals. I'm going to change of notes payable, but I'm not going to do total current liabilities because that includes the items that I have already counted. But I will do a uh, long term bonds. I will not do total debt because that include uh, long-term bonds and total current liabilities. Okay. And uh, I can do a change of a common stock and I can do a change of a return earnings, but I'm not gonna do a total equity uh, because that include common stock and return earnings and I'm not gonna do this uh, whole um, total liability and equity. Okay, so uh, what I can do here is uh, I just uh, put the names all the way, change of uh, uh, accruals and accruals, you know, is unpaid bills, uh, utilities, and uh, rent and wages. Change of uh, notes payable. That's basically for short term financing capacity. All right. And uh, 
These are liabilities no equity. So as I mentioned earlier, if liabilities no equity increase, my cash should increase. So when the accounts payable increase from 90 to 180, so the cash should uh, be positive 90. So I'm going to use a new minus the old. All right, so that's 90. And then I just feel safe to drag it all the way down. Okay, this accruals basically comes from a 420 minus 390. And this uh, change of notes payable come from a 330 minus 180. All right, now let me do the change of uh, long-term bond. So once again, I'm going to use a new minus old. So 2250 minus 1740. All right, so I'm going to uh, just to move my face all the way down. Okay, and then change of common stock. So uh, the change of common stock basically is uh, um, this uh, 390 minus 390. And also you have a change of a return earnings. And uh, this will be just uh, one sale after underneath the common stock. So. So that's a 2427 minus 2250. Okay, so this is the initial outlook of your uh, financial statement, in particular your statement of cash flows. All right, and now I can feel safe to close the window and then I'm going to organize it a little bit more. All right, so uh, right here, these are the items, and if you add them up, you will see a change of. Uh, um, overall cash so basically it will be the sum of everything here okay hit enter that's a negative uh, 213 did that ring a bell well if you look at right here your cash decrease from a 240 to 23 to 27 so that's basically a change a deduction of 213 dollars right okay so basically uh, the change of a cash come from of all these activities, change of accounts receivable, payable, inventory, plan, depreciation, so on and so forth. All right, so let me just first delete it here, uh, and I will get back later. I need to uh, first sort all these uh, activities. Well, you think you see that uh, accounts receivable, and that basically is operating activity, so I'm just uh, putting it here. Um, and uh, change of inventory is about your operation, so it's operating activity. Plant equipment is about long-term assets. If you invest money in, in that, then this would be an uh, investing activity. And for cumulative depreciation, that is about depreciation expense, so that's operating. And uh, also, there's one more trick here. I'm not going to put a chain of cumulative depreciation at the title. Instead, I'm going to just use a depreciation. Just use depreciation and this 300 I know that's the difference between the balance sheet item of uh, community depreciation of this year and the last year however I rather use the, the depreciation amortization in the new year of 2018 okay so I just borrow the number 300 here I know you know that the chain of community depreciation basically is depreciation right so the 300 is this is uh, 570 minus 270. So instead of uh, getting the difference of the two numbers on the balance sheet, I'd rather use uh, the 300 directly from the income statement. All right, and you also have account payable, so that's operating activity. Accruals, that's about paying your bill, rent, and utilities, so that's operating. And notes payable, that's uh, related with the financial market, so that's a financing activity. And also you have uh, um, long-term bonds, that's a financing activity, common stock, financing activity, but there's nothing changed with common stock, so I can just feel safe to delete the entire row. So I'm going to place my mouse right here at the uh, row um, number and then just delete. I don't need that. And change return earnings, and this is a confusing. So return earnings is about firm saving money, and where does that come from? Well, back to our formula here, return earning of 2018 equals to return earning of 2017 plus net income of 18 minus dividend of 18. 
So the change of return earning, so change of return earning basically is your net income of 2018 minus the dividend of 2018, right? Okay. So, uh, so that's the, the trick. So therefore, I'm not going to have a, an item called a chain return earnings of 18 minus 17. Instead, I'm going to have a net income and dividend. Okay. And I know that my net income belongs to the operating activities and my dividends, since it's related with the financial market, is a financing activity. So I know both of the number will add to uh, 177, but I'm going to break that down. I'm going to borrow the number from uh, the income statement for net income. It's right here, the 354, all right? And for the dividend, I'm also going to borrow from the income statement. It's right here, the dividend of 2018, all right? And then I know this has to be uh, negative, all right? I'm going to deduct the dividend from a net income to get a return earnings change. All right, so here I have a, a much better view of the items, so uh, I'm delete these notes, and then I need to uh, rearrange this uh, rows. So what do I need to do? Okay, so I will uh, leave it until the next part.